What up, world? <clears throat> um, this video is in reference to all of these um, unfounded statements about uh, Ron Paul being racist based off of him saying he wouldn't have voted for the Civil Rights Act. Um, now, first of all, I want you guys to recognize the, the political games played throughout the mainstream media, you know what I mean? Now, the term the term racism gets thrown around like like monkey stone shit at a zoo, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 it bothers me, you know what I mean? It bothers me that newscasters will go on national TV and just label somebody racist without ever actually investigating the racist claims, you know what I mean? And the regardless if if a candidate is even racist or not, the fact that they've been labeled as racist, once it's out there, it's out there, you know what I mean, and people run with it, you, 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 gotta, you got the internet uh, that's just filled with a bunch of repeaters, you know what I mean, and me as a black guy, I'm supporting Ron Paul for 2012, you know what I mean, he has the best ideas, he has the best grasp on what the American tradition was initially set out to be, that being a free and just society, you know what I mean, who's whose main goal was to promote liberty, you know what I mean? And and through us ensuring that our citizens are guaranteed the liberties and the rights that have been uh, listed in our Constitution, not granted by our Constitution, but listed within the, within the Constitution. Um, to me, that's the only real way you can properly spread our way of life throughout the world, by setting an example, not through the barrel of a gun. Which leads me to Ron Paul's ideas on foreign policy and stuff like that. I think he has the most sensible uh, approach to how we should be dealing with other nations, you know what I mean? We shouldn't be pressuring people of different faiths, different creeds to to succumb to what we do, you know what I mean, through force and stuff like that. The best way to do it is to set the example uh, and do it the right way at home, you know what I mean? How can we promote democracy and freedom and rights abroad when we're constantly being stripped daily through legislation like the Patriot Act, uh, internet censorship and shit like that, you know what I mean? But back to the Ron Paul and the Civil Rights Act, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Pretty much when, because I've been reading a lot of articles today about Ron Paul being racist because he wouldn't have voted for the Civil Rights Act. And most people, it's like their, their thought process doesn't go through the full the full uh, in-depth analysis of the statement, you know what I mean? It's it's easy to read a headline that says Ron Paul wouldn't have voted for the Civil Rights Act and then initially just label him as racist, you know what I mean? But the reasons behind him not uh, voting for the Civil Rights Act, or uh, the, the Civil Rights legislation, as it was written, was because, not not for any racial, racial uh, beliefs or anything like that, like, I, Ron Paul does not believe black people are less human than white people, I can guarantee you that, you know what I mean? He promotes uh, freedom and liberty for all people, you know what I mean? He has the most uh, common sense understanding for the prison industrial complex and how it's set up in a way to basically entrap mostly minorities, <laughs> you know what I mean? And the drug laws and the drug policy and how basically our, our, our war on drugs, like the first law against any kind of drug, making it illegal, was based off of racial tensions and racial propaganda, you know what I mean, like going back to marijuana and shit like that. The reason why they outlawed that initially was because of its diverse application, you know what I mean, like you can make anything from marijuana. They made, uh, Henry Ford made a car that ran off of hemp seed oil and it was actually built from hemp and it was, it was damn near indestructible, you know what I mean? But, um, so Ron Paul's stance on the Civil Rights Act, the only problem that he had with it. it, it was it was a problem of principle, which is which is what I see being his strongest characteristic. But it also hurts him in such a way. You know what I mean? Because his interviews on TV, like it's it's very limited. You know what I mean? His his time to respond to certain questions and and the way they frame these questions, it's to get a certain type of response from the the person who's being interviewed. You know what I mean? But when it comes down to it, his biggest beef with the Civil Rights Act was that it was a federal mandate telling businesses, business owners uh, basically how to run their businesses, you know what I mean? But the way, the way I can see it being spun in the media, it's so disingenuous and it's so unhonest, you know what I mean? It's, it's I mean, looking at 
a newscaster, you know what I mean? If this is your job, the equivalent to labeling Ron Paul a racist is like, it's like gross negligence and it's malfeasance. It's like common sense isn't even applied to the debate or the conversation, you know what I mean? Like his problem with it is more so when it comes down to property rights, you know what I mean? And property rights meaning that anybody who decides to open up a business in a free market should be the end all and be all of who who it is uh, or how their business would be run, you know what I mean? Now, as far as going back to the 60s and the Civil Rights Act and, and, and all that stuff about how there was a bunch of businesses in the, in the South about uh, where whites only, they didn't serve black people, black people weren't allowed to go into into those those establishments and stuff like that, you know what I mean? We can all look back on that and say that, yo, that's wrong, you know what I mean? Like, who the hell are you, you know what I mean? Like, we can all look back at that time in, in, in our history and we can say that that society that was that was uh that society that was in place at the time is what basically um set the standard you know what i mean for for that moment in time as to where racism was okay and this and that but since then there's been a huge paradigm shift huge paradigm shift and i, I totally agree with ron paul on on uh well not agree but like I, i'm not offended at all by the fact that he wouldn't have voted for the civil rights act uh, based off of a uh, property rights issue, you know what I mean? Because if we if we if we looked at businesses today, right? And if we just said, you know what I mean, like, yo, you can you can serve whoever you want. If you want a whites only uh, uh, coffee shop, it's up to you. Go ahead, go for it. You know why? Because the paradigm shift since the '60s has been so drastic that we can all now look at each other with with a certain level of respect. You know what I mean? And we can say, some of my best friends are white. You know what I mean? And, and, and we can all basically honestly look at each other and say, yeah, we're all equal people here, you know what I mean? And in a free market, if someone would be dumb enough to um, close off a large portion of the, 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 the country, you know what I mean, based off of a racial issue, I mean, based off of a free market principle, they would put themselves out of business because there would be a coffee shop down the street who would serve blacks and whites, and they would get twice as much revenue, you know what I mean? The, the anybody who would be dumb enough to to run a business based off of, of, of racial segregation, you know what I mean, in today's society they would go out of business, you know what I mean? But a lot of that has to do with, with the marchings of, of Martin Luther King and all that stuff and, and just the, the philosophical change that happened throughout the country at the time, you know what I mean? So my advice to a lot of the people out there, when it comes to these news articles, who are trying to slander Ron Paul's name based off of racial issues and stuff like that, don't even pay it any attention because any good debater, any good debater can look at personal attacks as the first sign of a failing argument, you know what I mean? So they'd rather promote Ron Paul the racist so that he wouldn't get your vote, you know what I mean? And, and they can push some other fucking neocon or, or fucking uh, another Obama on you, you know what I mean? But the fact is, there is no message stronger throughout man's history that can bring people together, no matter what color, what creed, what religion, than freedom and liberty. You know what I mean? And and if you're gonna if you're gonna buy into the 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 racial wet wedge issues that the likes of MSNBC, like I was watching Chris Matthews interview today, and Ron Paul pretty much owned his ass. You know what I mean? Like he was basically trying to frame the debate, frame the argument in such a way to where he can portray Ron Paul as being a racist, you know what I mean? And the fact of the matter is, dude, Ron Paul, Ron Paul is more pro-black Americans than, than President Obama, you know what I mean? Like, on some real shit, because Obama's still willing to lock your black ass up if you get caught smoking a J, you know what I mean? Like, Ron Paul's like, look, I have no business telling you how to live your life in, within your home, you know what I mean? And, and if you look at that argument, the, the, the whole drug war argument, there's nobody making any more sense than Ron Paul because in today's society, it's okay. If we want to stay in our house, have a beer, smoke a cigarette, you know what I mean? It's all right, you know what I mean? But if we were to go outside the door uh, publicly intoxicated and start a fight, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's illegal, you know what I mean? That's the proper way to regulate it, you know what I mean? And and and. The alcohol business is a lucrative business, you know what I mean? There's a lot of money being made off of that, you know what I mean? And despite the fact that alcohol kills more people than than pretty much any other illegal drug, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's almost ridiculous, you know what I mean?
So, I mean, just, just to clear it up uh, or clarify my position on Ron Paul and all these all these false accusations that he's a racist, it's, I mean, to me, it, it it's such an elementary argument, you know what I mean? Like, if, if people would really believe that if Ron Paul was elected president, you know what I mean, like, he'd be promoting the KKK and all this and that, you know what I mean? Like, like Ron Paul's promoting drug legalization, but he doesn't do drugs, you know what I mean? Like, he's just saying, like, this isn't, this isn't the proper way to handle the issue, you know what I mean? Like, they're talking about eradicating drug use to 100% levels, you know what I mean? And they've been talking about that for the last 70 fucking years, you know what I mean? And these niggas is losing, you know what I'm saying? So, the fact is, don't get caught up in the hype, man, because I'm telling you, over the next couple of months, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of, a lot of false labeling that's going to be issued on both sides of the, on, on both sides of um, the aisle, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's basically, it comes down to us as a people willing to do our own research, because I'm telling you, you can't trust these clowns on TV, man. These, these motherfuckers, MSNBC, CNN, they're pretty much pro-democratic organizations and this and that, you know what I mean? But it's because they're mostly funded from organizations of, 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 of that, that ilk, you know what I mean? And then you got Fox News, who's pretty much pro-right-wing propaganda, you know what I mean? But it's because of who's funding them. These people wouldn't be endorsing these messages if they weren't getting paid to do it. You know what I mean? So you need to look, you need to look beyond, beyond the mainstream media and, and their interpretation on, on what's good for you. You know what I mean? You need to go and do your own homework, do some research on their voting records. You know what I mean? Like some interesting things you might find out about Ron Paul. He's never, ever voted for a tax increase, ever, in like over 20 plus years uh, as a congressman. You know what I mean? Fucking Barack Obama pretty much ran his campaign on the fact that he wouldn't raise taxes under any circumstances. And within the first year he was in office, he raised taxes like like two or three times or some shit like that. You know what I mean? He pa he's, he he passed legislation for the the health care, Obamacare shit. You know what I mean? Which would be the largest tax on America in history. You know what I mean? So it comes down to when when you look at it. You know what I mean? Whether even if it's not just a racial to a, a, a racial issue, you know what I mean? Even when it comes down to religion and shit like that, we should really not even be getting caught up in, oh, well, I'm a Christian and I can't vote for somebody who's not a Christian, or or I'm pro-Muslim, I, I don't want any Christians, or I'm an atheist, and I don't think anybody who believes in any kind of religion should be running the country, you know what I mean? That's irrelevant, you know what I mean? You need to look at what 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 we all have in common, you know what I mean? The, the because people would find, even even Obama supporters would find that they have more in common with Ron Paul supporters than they do or than they don't have in common. You know what I mean? Like, the fact is, we're all people, right? You know what I mean? We all have rights endowed to us from our creator. Or, or, or if you're an atheist, I would say the principle. You know what I mean? Principle in the sense that if you, don't, if you don't subscribe to believing in a high power and stuff like that, the fact is we're here and we exist. You know what I mean? And our rights are enshrined in our existence. Regardless if it happened from an accidental Big Bang that, that kicked off billions and billions of years ago, you know what I mean? Or if you subscribe to a, a, a religion of some sort, you know what I mean? You believe in a higher power or whatever, you know what I mean? The fact is, we need to stop all this bullshit racial labeling shit, man. Because I'm telling you, they're slandering this guy's name and running it through the mud because they are truly afraid that he's going to unleash the potential of the American people, dog. And it, it would be a revolution, dog. And and this revolution doesn't have to be fought with guns and, and blood flowing in the streets, you know what I mean? It's going to be a philosophical revolution. We have to change the way we're thinking. We got to change the conditioning that we're under, you know what I mean? This whole, this whole, everything is dualism, you know what I mean? Like, you watch, you watch any type of mainstream uh, news outlet. Everything is dualism. Left versus right. Republican versus Democrat. Christian versus Muslim. You know what I mean? And they're all straying away from the fact that we're all people. And and the highest, the highest level of attainment throughout our history, throughout any civilized nation, has always been to reach for freedom and liberty. You know what I mean? And the fact, the fact is, Ron Paul got the best message hands down. And I'm going to tell you, don't play into the games, man. You know what I mean? Because we fell for that Barack Obama shit. I voted for the dude. You know what I mean? Uh, and he was basically running off, I, 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 I'm a scholar of the Constitution. 
I will follow the Constitution. And yo, this motherfucker's been trampling all over that shit since the day he got in the office. You know what I mean? So I'm just advising y'all, man. You guys gotta be smarter. You guys can't buy into the fucking the dualism tactics and shit. You gotta look at what's right for you. You know what I mean? What's right for all of us? You know what I mean? The fact that we are we're, we're a country who claims to be free. You know what I mean? But at, at the same time, they're telling us that we are already free and we're not a socialist country. They're in, they're implementing the fucking police state. You know what I mean? Just today, I was watching the news where they were saying that a judge ruled that you have no right to uh, uh, reject a police officer from entering your house without a warrant. You have no right to your own privacy anymore. You know what I mean? So it's it's these kind of issues we need to we need we need to really pay attention. We got to come together, man. You know what I mean? Because Ron Paul Ron Paul got an awesome message, dude, and it would it, it breaks my heart, dude. It breaks my heart to see black people falling into this shit. You know what I mean? You're getting bamboozled again, dude. You know what I mean? The one dude, the one dude who got your back, who don't want to see your kids get locked up because they smoke the J, and you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just asinine. Don't buy into it, man. And I, and I hope you guys do the research, dude. You know what I mean? This this cat is hella good for America, dude. He he enshrines American principles. So don't don't let nobody tell you any different, dog. You know what I mean? On on pretty much every issue he comes he, he comes to the brings to the table economic issues foreign policy issues we need to pay attention man you know what I mean turn off that fucking MTV BET bullshit man it ain't it ain't it ain't serving you no good to watch it you know what I mean that's fucking entertainment dog you know what I mean you need to you need to get into education type of shit on some real shit man anyway I'll holler at y'all man one.